Hey everybody and welcome back to another beautiful day today in Norway. In our previous video we flew the DJI FPV drone and I thought I had some pretty major flight issues. It's getting a lot of bobbling and wiggling around and general instability. However, based on some more flights with less wind and feedback from you guys, I feel like maybe it's flying perfectly normal and that's just how the drone flies. So just to make sure, we got another drone to compare. And as you can see here, both drones are flying pretty similar and exhibiting the same flight characteristics. So I think that it's safe to say that both drones are flying how they should be flying. Signal's just okay. All right, look, my HD link is bad when I'm facing this way. I think for what it is in stock form, we'll have to see if there's any difference with the FCC mode version. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, that's the 500 meter mark. Oh, that was stressful. It could at least beeped or something like, hey, I'm gonna st stop you. Now, neither drone is perfectly stable. They do require the EIS image stabilization to produce a good quality video, but the video recorded both on the goggles and on the SD card both look really, really good. And so I think they're doing their job. Now, probably the biggest downside of the DJI FPV is they do not handle crashes very well. It gets very expensive and it's very difficult to repair. Right, so yesterday I came back from a quick test flight and I kind of forgot I was in manual mode. And when I went to land, I was just pushing down on the throttle stick, thinking the auto landing to happen, but it did not. And the quad flipped over and broke the arm loose. It didn't break, but it came loose. So I need to figure out why. So I did the repair, which was surprisingly complicated. I had to desolder the ESC. Here's a couple of pictures of what I had to do, um, but I think it's all good to go. So you definitely don't want to fly these like a normal FPV quad. All right, so this drone doesn't really fly great. The signal performance isn't really that great. The footage recorded isn't really that great and crashes are disastrous. So with all that said, why is this then my new favorite drone? Well, it's because of this. Pilot in training here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> it's got free for first to go. Are you flying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am gonna go like a little bit risky. <laughs> I saw you driving crazy fast. <laughs> Some precision flying. Here's the farmer. Oh, he's gonna throw a rock at us. Oh, no, he's gonna no. throw a rock at us. <laughs> Lots of flow. Okay. Faster, maybe. Full than speed, eh? Yeah. What did you think? Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Easier than I thought. Whoops, oops, oops, oops. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> do you think you want to do it again? Yeah. Yeah? Do you know how to turn it off? Oh my. This drone allows me to share FPV flight with my friends and family in a way that was never possible before, and that's outstanding. In the next episode, we're gonna follow these two girls with zero drone experience to see how quickly they can learn to fly the DJI FPV drone, and if they like it or love it. So stay tuned. See you guys. <laughs> <laughs>